Hey, we are 24 7. We are a pop rock indie band and we are from Belfast and Hollywood. My name is Chris, I'm the lead guitarist and I sing as well. Hey, I'm Dylan, I'm the lead singer and I play guitar as well. Hey, I'm Ethan Hunt and I'm the drummer for 24 7. Hey. So, guys, how did the band get together? I was looking for someone to play with. Um, and go out and play music with on the streets and busk and do stuff like that. I was looking for a band and uh, I tried all these people and <clears throat> none of them seemed to click. And then so I just went out busking by myself and then uh, when I started GCS, GCSE Music, uh, one of my friends said to me, hey, I know this guy called Chris Bolt. He's sort of into the same music you like. He plays guitar. I think I think you'd like him. I was like, okay, cool. Could you text him for me? And then she never texted you. Then I had to text you then. It was a very awkward yeah. text. Yeah. <laughs> Coincidentally, <laughs> do our parents or our mums? Um, uh, yeah, they did for me. Yeah, yeah, they did for me <laughs> together. So, oh, so, yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, and then we did, we, we, once me and Chris went to Boston, we did all these things together. We then we oh, were yeah, a drummer we, we in the band, it, and then we yeah. got the first gig in January. Yeah, and, and then George the Smucker, and then, then Boston, then him. What did Ethan? Yeah, I I haven't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, so got him involved. That's that's how it started. You have the very catchy name of Twenty Four Seven. How did you come up with that name? <laughs> well, that man. I, I uh, asked my dad actually, and you asked your dad. He did. You he never told us this. Ugh. Yeah, so my dad. Uh, I I was thinking all night, and I asked my dad. All uh, night. You know, <laughs> uh, I was I was uh, asked my dad. And they came up with the name 24 7. So, uh, that's really good. Yeah, I suggested We didn't probably uh, think of it though. I never like yeah, yeah, I, I mean, never do that. You know. Summer 16. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Chris were thinking for uh, how long are we thinking? Names. Maybe three weeks. <laughs> we, we, not, not continuously, but over. No, no, no. It was, oh, it was way more than that. We started doing thing in January, so we got Ethan in. That was Jen. That was like yeah. six months. Yeah, yeah, we're thinking about names. So you, you guys didn't months. get any names no, in six months. We so. had awful names, what did we have? Turn it up. Don't and Chris. <laughs> no, that wasn't. Well, yeah, that was, but like, we had to turn it up. Oh, yeah. And then uh, we were just, they were just really cringy. But, no, but it came and, to. No, to be fair, the thing with 24 7, though, that I was, I've said to a few people, like, it, it's kind of catchy in the sense that yeah. like, people use it all the time. Yeah. What was lockdown or coronavirus like for the band, and how did it affect you? Well, a lot of writing was involved. When it first came round, we thought it was going to be awful. And me and Chris and he had only just started busking then, and we were really eager to get out and do everything. But it was actually quite good to slow down. Uh, and it gave us a lot of opportunity to write stuff, and that's where a lot of the stuff we wrote uh, came, you know, came from. And it was yeah, really it'd good. It would be like FaceTime. Yeah. <laughs> because it, 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 we weren't even in the same house, and I got sick of him because you were yeah. FaceTime like, we, we like four times a day. We, there was times we called each other at like oh. midnight yeah. and just songwriting. I, I just joined the band when. Uh, Oh well, yeah, yeah. So exactly. Yeah. So that's one of the main things of um, lockdown because the band actually formed. Yeah. Yeah. And thing. Yeah. Uh, and in lockdown. I mean, if the lockdown didn't happen, would Ethan be in the band? You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Or would we have written? Or would yeah. we have written good songs or had yeah. time to write so all these songs? You know. So. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think for us the band, I think we're very thankful. Even though for a lot of people it's horrible. Yeah. I think. For us, it was really good. Yeah. Yeah. It also helped me find my footing almost in the band because I had a bit of time breathing yeah, yeah. room as well. Yeah. To figure out, you know, what I want to, you know, yeah. uh, create in the band. Yeah. You know? On the on the first day when I joined the band, Dylan, you called me eleven times. It could have been more. It could have been What 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 are they calling you about? Yeah, it's just uh, how's it going? <laughs> have you got the songs done? Uh, uh, every eleven times. <laughs> How you feeling? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I felt great after the other six times, but <laughs> you guys went busking quite a lot at one stage, and now you're focusing on releasing your own music instead. But I wanted to know what was your favourite thing about busking? Cross. I Cross. yeah I think yeah Cross is a massive part. Yeah, it, it it gave so much more. Uh, oh, there's so much more adrenaline. Yeah, it is adrenaline. Yeah, yeah. it's just really good. I mean, I think busking's quite tough, uh, that sort of prepares you just for, because I mean, you're playing music and not everyone that, this you know, is. well, who you're playing it to listens, they just walk, you know, walk on by, it's quite brutal yeah. that way. No, do they, like, not everyone likes the same music, so it's kind of like... Yeah, no, then just people walk on, just don't, like, and it's, it's, it's quite, you know, it's quite, um, 
you learn a lot from busking. Yeah. Because you need to actually perform to get people's attention. You need to, it needs to me you need to be good. Yeah. But with busking, you can't think like everyone's judging you because yeah. realistically, they're just like everyone else. They're yeah. just walking yeah. by and listening to you. And they're just thinking of their own thing. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, no, I think the best thing about busking would be, well, the money was pretty good, but yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, the crowds, yeah. I think, definitely, and people, just, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, the, the people who come up to us as well and yeah. say, "Oh, you're doing great," yeah, um, yeah. yeah. that's that's a real encouragement. Um, I just think it's brilliant. Some of the times when we play, we've got a huge crowd, and they're always singing, get everyone clapping. I think yeah. that's what we want to do as a band. Yeah, uh, I mean, I just think that's just brilliant when you get that. Quick opinions on tonight, and why should people go on stream it? Shocking, but no. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a good song. Um, I really like the song. Yeah. I really like the song. Um, I, I think it's a summer song, and uh, yeah. it's just a really happy song. One of the reasons why I think you should listen to it is because it's our first single with a band. I wrote the song when I was 14. It's just a sort of a feel-good song, um, and um, yeah, we just would love to hear what you think of it. Name three cool, weird, or otherwise interesting facts about you. Um, I'll go first. I'm half American. I sometimes wear a hearing aid in my left ear, and I've got two pet chickens. That's just cool. That is cool. Yeah, one of the uh, interesting things about me is uh, I met Philip Coutinho after a Liverpool game. Um, I got a picture with him, and he signed my. Uh, what's the pr the program for the match? Is that what it's called? I don't know. It's a good yeah, program. Program. Um, and then I love milk. Uh, there's one point. Uh, I used to drink about eight glasses of milk a day or nine or something like that. And then, yeah, I mean, I just love milk. Uh, and the uh, third one is uh, I do surfing. Uh, I surf and I've been surfing for the last ten years or something like that. Uh, it might be, I don't know, yeah, it's ten. It could be a bit more, but uh, what do you call it? Um, so, yeah, um, I like to surf, so there you go. So my three interesting facts are I am grade eight in drums, I have a pet cat and I am six foot five. Nice. Yeah. <laughs>